Greetings, my friends. Remember back in Exodus, back in the Egypt days, when God sent Moses and Pharaoh, Moses and Aaron, to uh, persuade Pharaoh to let his people go, his chosen people, the Jews. And remember all of the different signs that God would show, the plagues that God would break out. Uh, Pharaoh would say, "Yeah, I got magicians that can do that. I've seen all that before. That's nothing new. That's a parlor trick." Wah, 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 wah. Always something going on until God broke out the big, big gun and all the firstborn of the Egyptian males died, including Pharaoh's son. And then it all sunk in and they said, wait a minute, this really is God. There's no way this could have happened by any magic, any magician, anything like that. Only the hand of the true living God could have done that. And this is where we are right now. This video title, The Worst Famine 2020, is the worst famine, global famine ever. And at the same time, there's the largest food surplus globally ever. Only God can do this. You can't you can't wrap your brain around this. Only God can make this happen. <clears throat> Only God can take two extremes and make them coexist and, and make it happen like it's happening right now. It's just incredible to me. It blows my mind. To read this, and I hope you're grasping just how important this is. This is major, major stuff, my friends. It's not just some news headline. This is mind blowing material right here, and I'm hoping that you're picking up the frequency that I'm putting it out on, and I hope you're hearing it. Worst famine yet stalks millions as pandemic disrupts supply chains. The pandemic is upending food supply chains, crippling economies, and eroding consumer purchasing power. Some projections show that by the year's end, COVID-19 will cause more people to die each day from hunger than from virus infections. What makes the situation unmatched is the huge spike is happening amid enormous global food surpluses. And it's happening in every single part of the world with new levels of food insecurity forecast for countries that used to have stability. My friends, this is huge. God is showing the world I can have the biggest food surplus ever and also throw the biggest famine on the world ever. And the Bible says in the last days we will have famines, plagues, pestilences, diseases. We're having all that right now. Look at all of the, of the COVID-19 and all of the rat infestations going on now, bubonic plague coming back again, all the old diseases that are, that are, that are reoccurring again. And with famine and pestilences with all the the, the, the locusts just tearing up the water to and, and the big, huge hornets from Asia in America now decimating bee populations. Everything that, that God said in the Bible that would happen in the last days when he's about to send his son, Jesus Christ, to snatch his bride away in the twinkling of an eye is happening right now in front of our very eyes. And it's mostly crickets for Christians. Very few Christians see, very few Christians care what's going on. I see, I care, and I'm going to put the word out until I'm raptured or dead. We need to wake up and understand God is not playing around. The rapture is upon us, my friends. Everything that has to happen for the rapture to happen has already happened. It's going to happen imminently. Be ready every second of every day because no one knows when it's going to happen. Stop trying to set dates. Stop trying to set it on, on Jewish feast days or anything else. God will make it happen when God wants it to happen, whatever day that is. If it happens to be on a feast day, so be it. But look for it every single day. That's how God is rolling with this. If you've never been saved, you're backslidden. Pray the prayer to the six steps in the box below the video. No one's guaranteed more time in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me to pray for you every day. I love you all so much. I deeply care for each and every one of you. Look up, true Christians, our redemption draweth nigh. We fly soon. May God bless you. Share the video. Help me get the word out. Help me fulfill the Great Commission. Our time is truly short, my friends. I can't wait to get out of this wicked, evil cesspool. Polls are everywhere that Christians, for the most part, love it here on earth. They don't want to go anywhere. That's why they don't believe in the pre-tribulation rapture. I loathe this wicked planet. I want to be home with my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and all my friends out there. Praise the Lord who follow Jesus with me and my various ministries. The numbers are, are staggering. We're up to 166,000 on my social media contacts right now. Praise God. All glory for him. It's amazing how he's having all my ministries all across social media growing. People getting saved left and right. People being blessed and, and, and keeping from, from being committing suicide and marriages being touched and prayers being answered. All for God. All for his glory. All through him, nothing to do with me. I'm the very least in God's kingdom. Everybody watching this video is a million times better than I am. So help me get the word out again. I love you all so much, my dear friends, and let's get ready. Time is truly short. Take care of yourselves. Love you.